Hello, I'm Gordon Lang, editor of Cameralabs.com. I'd like to give you a brief video tour around the Canon EOS 50D. Here it is, the 50D. Numerically, this makes it the successor to the EOS 40D, although technically it's not its replacement, at least not yet anyway. The EOS 50D has got many more features. It's aimed at a higher-end market, and at the time we made this video, that also made it quite a bit more expensive. So, at least in the short term anyway, the 40D and 50D will coexist in Canon's range. Now I've got the 50D here mounted with Canon's new EFS 18-200mm super zoom lens. This equips the 50D, or indeed any EFS compatible Canon body, with super zoom capabilities which take it from wide angle to pretty serious telephoto. Look out for a full review of this lens at Cameralabs.com. But of course most of the differences in the 50D are inside the body. So without further ado, let's take a look at some of the highlights. Most obviously, the resolution has received a considerable boost from the 10.1 megapixels of the EOS 40D to nothing less than 15.1 megapixels on the new 50D. This makes it Canon's highest resolution DSLR with a crop frame sensor. Around the back of the camera is a 3 inch screen with VGA resolution. This is the first time Canon's fitted a VGA screen to one of its DSLRs and it looks absolutely great in practice. Whether you're in playback, live view, even just navigating the new menu system, it's much more detailed than before. And you'll also see that the 50D's live view mode now also has face detection. There's a new shooting mode on the EOS 50D called Creative Auto, or CA for short. This is essentially a beginner friendly version of Aperture Priority, and instead of getting you to adjust the F number, it simply presents a slider to control background sharpness. The slider below it adjusts exposure compensation. Continuous shooting on the earlier 40D was rated at 6.5 frames per second, and now on the 50D it's fractionally slower at 6.3 frames per second, but remember it is shifting 50% more data with every frame. Here's how that sounds in practice. The EOS 50D also features a couple of small but very useful enhancements. First is peripheral illumination correction, which comes courtesy of the new Digic 4 processor. This allows the 50D to correct for the darkening that can appear in the corners of some lenses, technically known as vignetting. Second is AF Micro Adjust. This is a feature that's been inherited from Canon's professional line of DSLRs. It's ideal if you own a lens where the results are coming out just slightly less than 100% sharp, even though the camera is telling you that the lens is focused correctly. Now let's take a closer look at the 50D's controls. Externally, the EOS 50D is virtually identical to the earlier 40D, although there are a handful of differences that I'll point out. First, as you'll already have seen, is the new Creative Auto CA mode on the command dial. The pop-up flash is the same though, as is the noise it makes, it's quite motorised sounding. The upper right side of the body is dominated by the same LCD information screen. This is very detailed and also shows things like the ISO value at all times. There's still the same finger dial and also on the back Canon's traditional thumb wheel. This makes it very quick and easy to scroll through various options, although alternatively you can navigate with this 8-way joystick. One of the differences with the 50D over the 40D is that Live View has now moved from the set button here to its own button here which it shares with the direct print. Press that and you will enter Live View and I'll show you more about Live View in just a moment. 40D owners will also notice a slight rearrangement of controls down here. Switching the camera off, we can see that the 50D takes compact flash memory cards. It's also now fully compatible with UDMA cards, and this allows the camera to flush its buffer very, very quickly when you're doing continuous shooting. Underneath the compartment house is the same BP511A as the 40D. Finally, to the side of the camera, there's been a slight rearrangement of some of the ports. Behind this first flap, you'll see the PC Sync port for external studio lighting. Underneath there, the remote control port. On this flap to the right side, you'll see the USB port, a TV output, and new to the EOS 50D, an HDMI port for connecting to high definition TVs. Like most DSLRs, the 50D shows a wealth of shooting information on its screen at the back. However, new to the 50D is the ability to directly adjust some of these settings. You'll notice this highlighted area in the corner here with Q on it. This indicates the 50D's new quick control menu and to activate it, you push the joystick in. You can now move this highlighter around using the joystick until you reach something that you want to change. For example, the picture style. I can now press the set button in the middle to adjust this picture style. 
or I can just simply turn the thumb wheel with the item highlighted. As you can see I can also change things like the metering mode, perhaps the white balance. The 50D also features a redesigned menu system. This exploits the power of the Digic 4 processor to do things like smooth transitions between these pages. Now when I press this button you can enter live view. And to prove that it's live I'll just wiggle my fingers in front of the lens. Now you can press the info button to overlay various graphics on the screen. First some shooting information beneath. Now some overlaid graphics on the left. And because I have it enabled in one of the menus, a live histogram. And again, if I wiggle my fingers in front of that, you'll see the histogram adjust. Now you can also display a grid, but you'll need to go back to the menu to do that. So back to the live view function settings, into grid display, and you'll see that there's now two different grid options. Let's see how they look. To auto focus in quick mode, you just press the AF on button just here to the top right side of the body. It was actually quite quick in practice. Let me show you that again. But the disadvantage of this mode is the noise that it makes and also the interruption to the image. But now the 50D features contrast based auto focusing in live view. And to do that, we'll need to go back into the live view function settings, go down to the AF mode and change it from quick mode to live mode. Now, when I press the AF on button, see what happens. But one of the things you can do is move this auto-focusing area to wherever you want. Let's try auto-focusing up here. By pressing the magnify button in the top right corner of the 50D's body, I can take a look at a 5 times view, or even a 10 times view. And I can move this around using the joystick. Now this feature is incredibly useful if you want to check the absolute critical focusing on your image. And to show you that, I'm just going to temporarily switch the lens to manual focus. Now if I change the manual focusing ring here you can see that image go in and out of focus and you can get that absolutely spot on. Like all of Canon's recent DSLRs the 50D comes with free software that allows you to remote control it over a USB cable from your PC or Mac. I'm running this under Windows Vista and as you can see I can adjust things like the ISO sensitivity, maybe the exposure compensation or perhaps adjust the quality. Then when I'm ready to take the picture, I just press this virtual button here. And that picture can be recorded straight to your PC's hard disk, or to the internal memory card, or both if you prefer a bit of security. This latest version also uses this as a virtual half press. If I mouse over this button, you'll hear the camera confirm the autofocus there. Still one of the neatest features though, is the remote live view shooting. If I go to this option here, and zoom the camera out so you can get a better view of this window. This is the actual live view in front of the camera right now. And to prove that, I'll wiggle my fingers in front of the lens and you'll also see that live histogram on the right hand side adjust. And as before, one of the neatest things is being able to actually auto-focus the lens from this live view mode. And if you really want a closer view, you can go for this magnified option. And again, this allows you to get that focusing very, very precise. The Canon EOS 50D is another feature-packed semi-professional DSLR and a model which builds upon the already very capable EOS 40D. So, over that previous model, the 50D gives you 5 extra megapixels, quadruple the maximum sensitivity, a VGA screen, an HDMI port, a number of neat internal features like the AF Micro Adjust and also the peripheral illumination correction. Now these are all pretty neat features to have, but it's worth noting that most of these are in reaction to Nikon's D300. And indeed the D300 still has a couple of features that the 50D is lacking. So as always, it's very important to really weigh up which features are most important to you. Of course the other big question is how the image quality measures up. Canon's increased the resolution of this body and also offered high sensitivity, so how does that measure up in practice? Well, to find out, head on over to Cameralabs.com where we fully tested all of the 50D's sensitivities and seen how its resolution and detail and noise levels compare against rival models. So to find out whether the 50D is the feature-packed semi-pro DSLR for you, then head on over to our full review. You'll find it at www.cameralabs.com.